a lot of it is just sort of feeling the game out like uh, you know I'm never gonna really force uh, the issue um, obviously I'm always trying to hunt shots you know be aggressive in that way um, but uh, a lot of it is sort of just a byproduct of how the defense plays um, you know guys going extra pass whatever it might be you know Karras had a couple of them where he was just sort of in the paint kicked it out wide open three sort of situation someone like Perry on your team who obviously rises to the occasion whenever the pressure's on how do you process what it is that you're supposed to do when you're on the floor when he has the ball in his hands in those moments probably get him the ball and get out of the way <laughs> and then uh, yeah, you know, having a player like like that where, you know, you just, you know that he can make plays on the stretch, it gives the team a lot of confidence. You know, I don't think any one of us, uh, you know, the Knicks got up by three there with like a minute and a half to go. I don't think any of us were um, worried. Obviously, it's frustrating to give up the lead, um, have the momentum shift that way. Um, I don't think we should have been in that position to begin with. Um, but, you know, we're fortunate to have a player like Kyrie that bailed us out. And I guess at the beginning of training camp that he wanted Torian to kind of take that step as a defensive stopper. Um, what did you see from him out there tonight defending Randall, defending Portis and Morris? Yeah, I think, um, you know, the Knicks tried to go at him uh, early. They thought that they had a size advantage, but Torian is an excellent defender um, on the perimeter, but also in the post, and he just makes stuff really difficult. And, uh, you know, guys are not going to be able to, to back him down. You know, they tried going a number of times where there was Randall or Portis, and he just does an excellent job, you know, holding this ground um, and making things tough on guys. Joe, apologies if you answered this already, but did it feel like a rivalry out there tonight? Um, yeah, certainly. I mean, I think... You know, over the years, it's uh, always just a great atmosphere. Um, obviously, it's easy for the Knicks fans to, to get over to the Barclays Center, um, and it's just always an uh, unbelievable atmosphere. There's a lot of uh, fans both ways, but um, our fans have been incredible both nights. It's been um, great atmospheres, playoff-like atmospheres. Sometimes in the past, it seemed like a Nick home game. That wasn't the case tonight. It definitely seemed different. Yeah, I think it certainly has shifted. Um, you know, three years ago, you might have said something different, but it seems like every year, you know, we uh, sort of solidify our fans base more and more and then tonight you know obviously there's still a lot of Knicks fans but we we held our own in that right